so excited for today's video. We are talking all about home design. If this is your first time here, we're building a new house out in Hill Country, my husband and I. The walls went up last week and we're pretty much on track to close by the end of this summer. So I'm really excited. This is really our first time getting to pick all the little details down to the hardware, to the light fixtures, and then of course furnishing the whole place. And I'm sure you know that furnishing a new home can be a really overwhelming, daunting experience. I'm not an interior designer, but I have my vision for how I wanna feel when I'm in my space. I really try to create a space that brings me joy, makes me feel calm and creative, and just really be a space that we enjoy living in and working in. We spend so much of our time at home. So for today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process for designing room by room, take you through the tool I'm using to help me take on such a big creative project and get all those conceptual ideas out of my head and into a system that can help me execute on it. All right, let's head into my computer. I'm gonna do a screen share and just walk you through how I'm doing the dang thing. All right, friends, welcome to my desktop. And let me introduce you to my favorite, favorite app for organizing my creative projects. Its name is Millinote. I'm a very visual person and something like designing a home is a very visual process. When ideas are still very young and conceptual, it really helps having this place where I can just kind of brain dump, be able to connect the dots, but then organize them into a system so that we can actually bring these visions to life. All right, so here we are. We're inside of my Millinote home board. You can see my current projects that I'm working on, our home design, and then also we're working on rebranding the home bodies, which is my online shop. We also like to do brainstorms in here for the new quarters, but for today's video, I'm gonna focus on our home design. This is our home board and you can see we have different columns of things that we're focusing on. So for the first column is a picture of Andrew and I in front of our lot before we started the building process. I love having this picture here because I just remember how excited we felt that day. And so it's a good reminder to embrace the process and have fun with it. You can see we have some reminders here of things we need to order before May 1st with the supply chain delays. We really just wanna place the orders for the bigger things like our couch and our appliances because those are things that might take a while to get in. So we're gonna order it very soon and hopefully get it soon after we move in. And then over on this column, we have design. So our mission is to create a calming and cozy home that just makes us feel happy and at peace, feels like a breath of fresh air. And I just like to put that statement there as a reminder, as we're going through room by room. As you can see, we have a lot of different places to tackle, but this is where we're starting. I'm gonna show you kind of what our mood board looks like, show you some of the more finished boards, and then show you what a board looks like in process. So let's dive into our mood board. You can kind of see our inspiration. This is the vibe. I'm really inspired by Japandi, which is a fusion of Japanese and Scandinavian design. Very clean, very minimal, but still calming and cozy and just a very joyful place to live in, or at least that is how I feel when I see this kind of style. It makes me feel right at home. It's just very calming. So this is the vibe for the whole home and then we'll break it down room by room. I need this light. I don't know where it's from. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm really into this big oversized coffee table. So you can see on the toolbar over here, you can drag different notes and you can draw a line, point to your favorite things. You can even hand draw. When I'm on my iPad, I do that. And the images I found from Pinterest or from the actual retailer. So let's just pop over to our floor plan. You can see when you walk in, there's a foyer and Andrew's office is on the left. I'm so excited that Andrew and I get our own office because it's been, it's been a challenge with him being on meetings all day long and me filming and just needing silence in order to write. It's been an interesting two years, but we're really excited to have our own space. And I think Andrew's really excited to kind of create a place that is his own. So let's just hop into Andrew's board. He was so excited putting this together. This is his overall vibe. You can see he loves this kind of like pegboard wall style. He's always loved these long slatted pieces of wood. He's looking into a desk from Artifox. So he loves this style, cord management, obviously such an important thing. And I'm excited to see how he incorporates art. He loves gaming. And I think this art is really cool because it doesn't really look like a video game right off the bat. That's Andrew board and then from here we start to create our shopping list so you all know I'm a big fan of Notion I want to show you how I'm utilizing both Milanote and Notion Milanote is ideal for visualization and really just taking those creative ideas out of your head and putting them into an organized system and then when you're ready to actually buy 
stuff, that's kind of where Notion comes in. We have a Notion database in our Acre Life hub called 2022 house and we have our list of things we need to buy for our house so this is kind of where we can use the database and see how much things are going to cost what the priority is and then just track the things that we've purchased and what's left on our list so once we kind of get past the conceptualization and start to nail down exactly what products we want to buy then we drop it into notion with the link and the price so once you pass Andrews and we have the outdoor patio, we have this extra living space, which I do not know what to put here. Definitely looking forward to brainstorming that. Let's pop into our living room board. I love being able to see these kind of like paint swatches, hex codes. It's really cool. You, you can use this color picker and hover over that so you can see that's how we got the soft amber color. This is the vibe of the living room. We definitely want an oversized coffee table. I can imagine us having game nights with friends on this table. You can see products that we actually started to nail down so I think we're gonna go with this natural coffee table from crate and barrel seems like a good size I even used the view and room function we have this brass floor plug that Andrew and I argued about for like a week long he really wanted it I didn't want to pay for it I also don't like the uncertainty of having to give them a measurement and hope that our couch covers it on the floor but he really wanted it, so here it is. This is the couch that we're looking at. It's from Made in Home. It's gonna be bigger than this. It's gonna be the 136 inches by 111. I went back and forth about fabrics. I really wasn't sure which fabric I wanted to choose, but I knew that I wanted a white couch. Even though we have dogs, I just always wanted a white couch, so now we're just gonna go for it and hope for the best. But we did choose it very consciously, so I tested out a couple different fabric swatches. I put some cocoa powder and like mushroom adaptogen powder and rubbed it into the fabric, and then I tried to wipe it off, and you can see just how well the white cleared up. You could barely see it on the white, but all the other ones tended to stain a little bit more. I also rubbed the fabric swatches all over our couch to see what the dog hair would look like. We are are going with the white and it's this Krypton fabric which is supposed to be really stain resistant so this is my office this board is still in progress I am having the hardest time figuring out what desk I want so you can see at a glance here that we are gonna be doing this cool Japanese shoji inspired door. This is the opening. We're gonna be custom adding these doors. I got a couple different quotes. You can move down here and see that I hate cords. If you've been here for a while, you know that about me. Cords are my biggest pet peeve. It's such a pain point for me and non-negotiable is having a desk that I can actually store my cords under. I want built-in cord management. I really like the Ergon Office desk, but I don't think I would really use the standing feature, but who knows? This is the desk I love the most. It's the most expensive. It's over $3,000, but it's made in LA and I just think it's a beautiful desk. Over here, you can see some cozy desk moments, just some inspiration. These are unsorted cards. Let me show you how I get the pictures in here in the first place. I can search desk setup inspiration and just kind of scroll through and see other people's setups. So I love being able to just take images directly from Pinterest, save it to my Milanote board and be able to actually arrange it. That way I don't lose track of anything. It's just all here and I can just see it more holistically and know what do I actually want to purchase. So when I think about the room holistically and I think this is the desk I want and this desk goes with this storage cabinet and these are the colors and this is how it all looks together. Together. Seeing it all together as a mood board helps me make more efficient decisions, more intentional decisions, and not end up with a pieced together room of things that don't work together. And then I'm not wasting my time ordering something that I end up returning because it doesn't look right. So that's my office. Here is kind of the beginning stages of the kitchen. I haven't completely solidified my thoughts on this yet. So this is kind of the process. I'll go through Pinterest and grab a bunch of things and then start to drag and drop different images. Some things we still have to brainstorm are whether we're gonna go with black or gold hardware. I thought in the beginning that I wanted a white kitchen with gold hardware, a gold farmhouse sink, but as time has gone on, I kind of think I'm tired of the gold. I think I'm ready for something more sophisticated. I love things to be white and bright, but I also still want things to feel grounded. All right, so those are the boards that we're working with. We still have to work on the outdoor patio, 
the guest room, the dining room, there's so many, even our bedroom. <laughs> there's so many other boards I'm still gonna have to make, but we're pretty set on the living room. We're pretty set on Andrew's office. We have the items that we added to our Notion database. So we know what we're gonna purchase. Besides our design boards, we also have the building process, which I think has been really cool to document. You can see we started from the bottom and now we're here. I've been using this section to kind of document the milestones of where we started from it just being a dirt lot to actually getting the foundation to pouring the concrete. I seriously can't get over our view. I'm so excited <laughs> to watch the sunset on our patio. So I dropped some images in here to document different steps of the process. Also in the future, when we look back on this house, when it's done, it'll be cool to see what the framing looked like or say we wanted to knock down a wall or make a window bigger. We have pictures of it before the walls went up. So that my friends is how we are designing our house room by room by room. It's a long process, but oh my God, I can't tell you how helpful it is to just utilize technology and tools to help simplify the process. Milano is such an incredible tool for that early stage thinking, for really trying to just figure out where you wanna start. It's been really cool seeing how our creative ideas evolve and then become concrete plans. I feel more confident in being able to take on the design process. You know, for my office, I'm really excited to be able to put my spin on it and to kind of trust my own design instincts. And I know, I know what I love, I know to gravitate towards but having it all visually laid out and to be able to see the full picture before making the decision on what I want to buy it's so so helpful if you're looking to move or design a new space or rebrand your website any creative projects that you have consider using Milanote be sure to check out my link in the description you can learn more about Milanote thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video bye everyone